This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Linda Carnegie with me and Jean Gallant. Gallant, thank you very much for joining us. Oh. We are here to talk about Hay Day. Hay Day is back. It's back. Uh, well, you know, I, we just learned right before we pressed the record button, you've never even been to a Hay Day I never before. Have. Yeah, th I mean, this is our 60th year. Six, yes. you know, 60 years we've been doing this. But I'm just new to Kempville and in the last three years, and so I've wow. never been to Hay Day, but I've heard so much about it, and I'm so excited about it. Like, oh, it's just... You just wait. You just wait. Huge. <laughs> That's what people tell me, yeah. That's right. Yeah, there's well. so many treasures and, and collectibles and all of them. It's a huge community garage sale. It's uh, Eastern Ontario's, one of their largest indoor garage sales. That's right. And so, I mean, tons of people come out and they bring lots and lots of things to donate and then they come back and they buy buy things you know That's and right. it's great. and sometimes things get donated from us that our kids go and buy and bring back to oh, us really? <laughs> <laughs> that's happened <laughs> well i heard one time that um there was a family who came in and furnished their son's whole apartment just at oh, heyday I mean, you could Absolutely. you know the yeah. bed and the dresser and the you know the, the linen dishes, dishes yeah. everything everything's yeah. there absolutely yeah. yeah so maybe linda you can talk a little bit about the history of it because it not only do you, you can get everything you need to fill your apartment yeah. oh my goodness the social aspect so i'm going to let you talk about what heyday has been like how long have you been associated with it oh <laughs> long time <laughs> when did i retire um yeah a long time now yeah. but anyway it's um it's a place where you can regenerate and recycle and reuse. Rather than throwing things out, uh, you can bring your things to Hay Day. Every cent that is earned, uh, it, prices are cheap there, but every cent goes back to the Kempfell District Hospital. So we put that toward buying beds. Uh, we're buying a heart monitor this mm -hmm. year, a portable nurse's station. So things that the government just doesn't step up and pay for. And um, after COVID, three years of not having Hay Day, we're hoping that there'll be lots of things that people have saved. I know some people shared with other charities along the way, but uh, we always seem to have something else that we can give. I think, you know, we're, we're talking now it's the end of March, but it, and your event is the beginning of June, but now is when people start doing some spring cleaning. Save your stuff and take it to, it's That's at a right. new location this year. It's at a new location. It's at the Municipal Centre in North Granville in Kempville, and uh, we'll be on the ice surface, similar to what was at the curling rink on the ice surface, but we'll have added space, and the Mills Cafe will be out in the corridor, we're taking over the canteen that's there for the the weekend and there'll be tables to sit at the big table will be out there we also have room at the bleachers where we can mm. set things on the bleachers not having people go up the stairs right. but we could set the things uh propped on there and people could walk there so it'll be much more spacious more space for us uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And we're talking about the weekend, June eighth and ninth. No, ninth and tenth. Ninth and tenth. Because it is yeah, a two-day yeah. event. Yeah. Well, it's actually four days because the, for two day for the two days before that, the Wednesday and the Thursday before that, uh, people drop uh, drop donations off. So there's lots and lots of volunteers. I was counting up the number of volunteers that we need. Uh, right now, I'm up to 173. That's volunteers. what you need or what, that's, that's what, what you have? Well, we have about half of that so far. So we're looking for more. So if anybody wants to volunteer, uh, they can email kdha.heyday, and that's spelled H-E-Y-D-A-Y, mm -hmm. at gmail.com. And uh, so we're looking for lots of volunteers, you know, to help sort things and receive things and get them out and, uh, um, and, and then sell them, you know, help us to sell them and sort them and whatnot. So, yeah, it's going to be great. And, yeah. and then the sale is a Friday night. It starts yeah. at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 o'clock. I think we yeah, left it at 6 o'clock yeah. until 9 and then again Saturday morning 9 until 1 in the afternoon. And we have a 50-50 draw, so we'll be selling tickets there. And the draw, the mayor, Nancy Peckford, will be making the draw for the 50-50 at 1 o'clock. Yeah. And the lineups 
to get in <laughs> oh, in the my Friday night. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's the beauty of the municipal center is we've got so much more space, so right. much more room. And they won't have to stand in the rain if it yeah, happens exactly, to rain. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. And so they'll come in and there's just, it's almost overwhelming. So it I really hear, is. So I hear, and, and uh, yeah. You so will I'm, be amazed. Uh, yeah, you that's have to what experience people tell me. Heyday. Yeah. You know, you can talk about it, but you have to experience heyday. Because yeah. we that's talk it. about, you know, being able to, to come and get all sorts of things, everything, you know, and including the kitchen sink there's probably going to be <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite yeah. a few of them yeah. but uh, it's the social element of it, it all is. too like yeah. people oh. just come out because this is a tradition to Kempville for 60 years yeah. yes and, and it's, you see people that you haven't seen in a long time right? yeah. everybody from the community comes and we have so many new subdivisions now too new people yes. to the area yeah. that uh, we hope will come and, and experience what heyday is all and about. And because of three years of COVID, too, you haven't been able to do this. No. So, I mean, exactly. people are going to be that much more excited to be able to I get hear, it. I um, hear, you know, I talk to people uh, that, that, who, who, who have been volunteering for heyday for, for the 60 years. Kind of, wow. and yeah. they talk about when it first started. They were selling chickens and pigs and <laughs> and ducks and we don't have know. that anymore. No, <laughs> no livestock. No. And it was on a dirt floor. And one year they had um, a fortune teller there, which was was really popular. Mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. And it's just over the years, it's just changed and changed. And, and I mean, especially now when people are struggling with their finances. Yes. You know, uh, to be able to go someplace and buy a, a pair of kids' soccer shoes for, you know, 50 cents or a dollar or something like that and outfit the kids in that yeah. kind of thing. Right. I, I mean, we're all struggling with financially because the price yes. of everything has gone up. And so where you can go and buy nice stuff at, at very low prices and all the money goes to the hospital for, for patient care. I mean... Because it's all run by volunteers, right? Right, and, right. And um, and so and a lot of the stuff is donated. I mean, even even the 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 garbage bins, you know, the the dumpsters, the dumpster. have been yeah. donated, and and the, the tipping fees have been donated. And I mean, the community just really comes together. It's amazing. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Where it, yeah, it's just amazing. And in, in the and sixty years, and one and a half million dollars approximately yeah. has been has raised been, for yes, the hospital. Yes, yeah, and yeah. it's like you had mentioned too. The, the hospital has to raise funds for all their equipment and, and yeah. uh, furniture, that type of things, in the hospital. It's not government funded. No. You Many guys people, have to do that. Foundation yeah. and the auxiliary. That's right. You guys yes. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Many yeah. people think everything is paid for yeah. by the government, which is us. But no, yeah. that's, that's not true. There's a lot of fundraising needs to go into supplying equipment for the hospital. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So good on you guys for doing this. Three years of not being around, it's going to be amazing. Oh, I hope it's, it's going to be better amazing. than ever, yeah. I come hope somebody has a drone out. and sees it from the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be just yeah. a, a huge, huge event. So again, it's Friday, June 9th, Saturday, June 10th. Uh, at the municipal, at the municipal center, center. Yeah. and it's going to be on the ice surface and you've got the hallways but there's no, the there's no there's ice there's no ice the ice will be gone <laughs> yeah it'll be warm i have to tell you a quick story and i wasn't there the night that it happened when it was at the curling rink i believe uh the there was somebody there that was working there and they it was so so hot and there were so many people they turned on the ice surface just they thought it would cool yes but what it did was made it really wet and slippery. Oh, no. <laughs> no it, was not a good thing. it was not a good thing. It was not a good thing. No, no. I heard that story. I wasn't there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think the municipal center has air conditioning anyway. So. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. well, so there, there we go. We're all set. You're all set. <laughs> yeah. You're all set. Yeah. So many ways. Yes, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you very much for joining us. Thank I've you got for Jean, having Jean us, Jean Gallant and Linda Carnegie, thank you very much for joining us, thank helping you. our hospital uh, do such a wonderful things. But my goodness, to bring Heyday back to our community, it's going to be amazing. It's exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us, Kathy. You're welcome. <laughs>